research facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you and have a very safe and productive day. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. I guess his bar cab must have finally caught up with him. Put some pep in that step, Freeman. You're late enough as it is. Aw, oh, man, you cut the ponytail. Sell it. Say hi to Dr. Cross for me. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago and I... I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you'd gotten to your hazard suit. Please excuse me, Gordon. Get away from there, Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. Gordon, don't touch that. Another computer. They don't just give any old riffraff off the street the honor of wearing that lab coat, Gordon. When was your last year analysis, Freeman? Doctor? Agent Chinson. Control Report yourself, to Gordon. Topside Tactical Operations Center. Good morning, Dr. Freeman. The thermal protection system seems to be on right now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these, these days. Things? Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this weekend. What? What is that symbol there? That one? No, this one. That's a finger smudge. They need you in the test chamber. I don't know about that, Dr. Truman. He's just spouting buzzwords in his research papers that he picked up from perusing popular scientific periodicals. You're living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. Morning, champ. Hello. What am I, target practice? Good heavens! What the hell? <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? 
you will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. Cause, uh, that was, um... That was you-know-who's lunch. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Rat. No toilet paper. Oh, thank heavens! I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Just a minute! to the HEV Mark IV protective system for use in hazardous environment conditions. Automatic medical systems engaged. I am back. Reactive Arbor activated. Atmospheric contaminant sensors activated. Ah, I remember my day in the hazardous environment. Automatic medical systems engaged. Defensive weapon. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Problems down in the test chamber too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazardous suit. Good morning, Dr. Cool Freeman. League earlier, but the thermal protection system seems to be online. You're Those living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? to the HEV Mark IV protective system for use in hazardous environment conditions. Automatic medical systems engaged. I am back. Reactive armor activated. Atmospheric contaminant sensors activated. Vital right on through, sir. Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. Gordon, this had better be important. 
I thought not. Hmm. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the booster plates. What's up, Doc? Superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. Wasn't the tram ride a little longer today? Kindly lower your voice. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? This is going to have to wait, Gordon. Has anyone actually even seen your degree, Freeman? Ah, Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes, they're a bit strange to just... Oh, it's about to go critical. What in the blazes is going on with our equipment? It was never meant to do this in the first place. Oh. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. By Beckrell's ghost! The radiation level is off the charts. This is far from the glory I had envisioned as an undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, yet I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push that. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. No time for cold feet, Chief. Step right up. Ah, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. How you can say that? Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. 
The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the... Testing. Testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Very good. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. 